Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got something I've seen circulating around a lot. Um, before I tell you what we're doing, uh, be sure that if you are already subscribed to my channel, you go ahead and hit that button and get those notifications turned on so you can see when I post because I love sharing stuff with you guys. And uh, keep in mind that once I get to a thousand whole thousand subscribers I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway for y'all. So what I've got today is a TJ Maxx haul because who doesn't love those? So what I'm going to start with is actually my not exactly makeup items and the first thing I got was this adorable journal. It says top secret and it's marble because who doesn't love a good marble print something. Uh, very cute. It's got pink lined pages. Uh, it was like three bucks and it's just something I really wanted that I thought would be really cute and maybe even make some good decoration by my vanity. Then I got these mini makeup remover towels. Now these are probably going to be pretty comparable to the makeup eraser. You're supposed to just be able to put water on it and take your makeup off. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to. You just put water, take off your makeup, and then wash it. And it's reusable, and it came with two. And it was also $3. If you know anything about a makeup eraser, those are like 20 bucks. So definitely a good deal there if it ends up working as well. Ooh. Then I went ahead and picked up some makeup remover wipes. These were 4 bucks. And these are the micellar, micellar, however you say it, water wipes. They have a decent smell to them, not too bad, work really well, and it's a 60 count. So I grabbed a couple packs of those while I was there. And then we have this beauty that I have still not opened. And this is something that, like, everybody kept telling me was there and I didn't know why I needed it. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to find out soon. This is the Kat Von D Shade A Lot, and it is the brush. Um, I had somebody pick up the Shade A Lot Contour Palette for me because my TJ Maxx had some in stock, but they were all broken. So I had someone grab one for me from a different store, but I did not have them grab the brush. Um, I'm not sure how much it was because the tag's not on here. But I do know it was a lot cheaper <clears throat> than what it retails for. So <clears throat> when you take it out of the box, it is very well protected. And it comes in this packaging that almost looks like a little coffin. So you open it up over here, I think. But mine hates me, so I can't get it to open. Okay, open it up over here, and you've got your brush inside this little coffin-like packaging, and this is your highlight, and this is your contour. This is like super soft, feels really like sturdy, it's kind of heavy, so I think this will be great. I'm not the biggest fan of double-ended brushes, but if it lives up to the hype, this is so going to be worth investing in, especially since I got it really cheap because it came from TJ Maxx. <clears throat> so while we are on Kat Von D, I will show you the other two things, or two of the other things. I got a lot of Kat Von D stuff. I got these two studded lipsticks. Um, I got them in the color Lovecraft and Hellbent. And they're both super pretty. I've actually tried Hellbent already and I love it. It is a red color and a pink color and what's so cute about her lipsticks is she puts like her logo in the lipstick I don't know if you can see that very well but they are gorgeous I'm not doing swatches today guys sorry about that but they're super pretty okay so we're gonna go ahead and stay on lippies <laughs> the next thing I got was amazing. I got a MAC matte lipstick. Now this is not a shade I'm going to wear a lot. If you don't know 
why TJ Maxx gets stuff like this, it's because they get kind of like the overstock or stuff that's being reformulated. That's what they get in their stores. So most of the stuff that you're going to get there is just going to be stuff that the brand is redoing, the brand couldn't get rid of, whatever. So I got this MAC lipstick in Instigator. And it is super dark but it is more of a berry color and I will do a swatch for this because I honestly have not tried it. It is actually a really deep purple. So here is that swatch and this is something I will probably try when I'm going for one of those kind of creative looks. But y'all it's a whole MAC lipstick and it was only $10 so like almost 50% off which is amazing they did have some mac like liquid lipsticks but those were still like 15 dollars so i couldn't make myself do it <clears throat> then i got this little holiday bite beauty lip set and it comes in a little tin and you pop it open and it's got paper in here and underneath it it has got these four bite beauty lip Sticks. They're not lipsticks, they're like the cream lip crayons. I'll open one just to show you kind of how they look. Uh, <clears throat> they have a pointed tip on them. And yeah, they're super pretty. I guess I lied about the swatch thing. We're going to do a few. Here's what they look like. They're pretty creamy, seem like just a regular old lipstick, but with a pointed end, which will be really good for trying to line the lips. And it came with a nude pink, kind of a wine color and a berry color. <clears throat> but that is it for the lip products I found. So now we're gonna move on to the eye products. Now this box is so beat up, like, it looks like someone wanted to destroy it, but they didn't. This is a cargo eye pencil. It is a Swimmables in Dorado Beach, or Dorado. Around here we say Dorado. I don't know how y'all say it. But it is gold. And it is very, very pretty. I don't know what look I would use this for, but I'm sure I could find one. And this was only $1.99. This is cheaper than drugstore. Um, not sure what it is originally. Probably not much, but it's definitely good quality. And I've heard good things about Cargo. I know that I do really like their, um, like their eyeshadows and stuff. So I thought I would try that out. And then I got a Stila. They put the price tag right over it. It's like a Stila um, gel eyeliner thing for $3.99 in copper ink. <clears throat> and I can't even figure out exactly how this works, but I love Stila, so I wanted to try it. It is, of course, copper colored, but the inside is like a gel cushion. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I'm pretty sure like you would just dip your eyeliner brush in here and then use it. But I'm kind of scared to try because I'm afraid I messed it up. But I got this and it was only $3.99, so half off. Okay, then I will have shown you this in another video. Um, this is what I'm going to use in my Marc Jacobs video. But this is the Marc Jacobs product that I got. It is a Style Icon 7 in Starlet. And this is what it looks like. Super pretty. I have it on my eyes right now. Uh, it does not have any matte shades in it. So it's always a downer for me. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And if you've ever watched Tati's videos. These are the gorgeous little palettes that she has lined up like behind her. And they are so pretty. Like the packaging is to die for. Marc Jacobs always does killer on packaging. And they have a ton of Marc Jacobs stuff at TJ Maxx. They always have like their foundation and stuff. But um, I'm really pale. And the lightest color they had was Fawn. Which is too incredibly dark for me. But they had a ton of the Marvelous Mousse foundation. And I'm still stalking them to see if they get my color in stock. So the last three things I've got are from Kat Von D. I got three of her Aquad palettes in Rust 
smoke and plum and I'm gonna go ahead and open these up so y'all can see them they are very pigmented I mean they're cat on to of course they're good here is plum this is what the outside packaging looks like on all of them it's just like a baby contour palette kind of packaging and I think this is what all of her palettes look like but here is plum it's even got a little baby mirror and then we have got Rust, which is obviously kind of like a coppery brown toned palette. And this is what the inside of it looks like. And then we have got Smoke, which is probably what I'm most excited about. I really love like I don't know if you call it like traditional smoky eyes, like where they're mostly black and white. It's my favorite. So we have this one. And I'm just going to show you um, a couple of little swatches so you can see how pigmented her eyeshadow is. So I'm going to show you the black and the white. And they're just so pigmented. Like, I've seen lots of videos. Tati's my favorite, so don't judge. But in a lot of Tati's videos, when she's doing like a matte look, she'll take the matte white out of the same palette and she'll put it on her eyelid. And it is just so gorgeous and super pigmented. But that is my TJ Maxx haul, I guess. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you get stuff at TJ Maxx and you have videos, I would love to see. And if you know of anything they've been getting in stock lately, let me know because every time I go visit my mom like an hour away, they have a TJ Maxx there. And I always try to go in and see what's there. Because I live in a little bitty town. There's not any big stores here besides like Walmart. So I have to wait until I go visit her. And then I, I always creep the TJ Maxx to see what they have in stock. My store is always a little bit, or well her store is always a little bit behind. But I love to creep TJ Maxx and see what they've got. Um, and I may go by there if we start getting close to that thousand and grab a couple things for that giveaway. Hmm. I don't know. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know I love my TJ Maxx haul and I really enjoyed getting everything for this video. And I've had the best self-control in the world. I have not used any of this and I've had some of it sitting here for quite a while. Because I wanted to wait until I could film a full video for y'all before I used it. So uh, I'm excited to start using this stuff. If there's anything you'd like to see a tutorial on, like I may go ahead and do a Kat Von D kind of specific tutorial with some of these, let me know. Leave it in the comments and I will see what I can do. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see y'all in a couple of days. Bye guys.